Who are the most overpowered, best possible meta players on every single position in the Premier League in FIFA 21's Ultimate Team? From cheap to very expensive and every budget between it, this is the video you must watch to build yourself the best possible team matching your budget. No player is missing that you need in your squad. So do you love the video? Don't forget to smash a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more and put on the notification bell if you you want to join our astonishing team, Viva La FIFA. Looking for the best and cheapest place to get your FA21 coins? Go to away.com and start building your dream team and use the code Viva for an extra 10% off your order. We are starting off with the goalkeepers and you have a lot of cheap opportunities. Berlino, 85 rated or even better, David De Gea, 86 rated. Two great goalkeepers with astonishing reflexes and also good handling in comparison with the price you pay for them. Especially David De Gea has incredible diving and reflexes. He is a little bit the Gianluigi Donnarumma from the Premier League. Do you have a bigger budget for between 25 and 60k? You can go for Inform Burleno if you think it's cool to have an Inform card in your squad, but you have even better solutions with Ugloris 87 rated, Edison Moraes 88 rated, and Alison Becker 90 rated. And the good thing is, even a goalkeeper like Alison Becker is there for you for 60,000 coins and the majority of you guys played FIFA from the start. I bet you have between 500k and 1 million coins already if you play FIFA on a regular basis and I think the majority of you guys do that. If you got the game for Christmas, you should focus on the cheaper players. But don't worry, they're all overpowered. Edison Moraes is the highest rated goalkeeper looking to the price and value. But you can just in case also get Alison Becker. He is cheaper and just as good, maybe even a little bit better. But for the highest budget, Edison Moraes is the coolest looking goalie. One of my favorite positions in FIFA that might surprise you is the center back position because I think it's always cool at the start of a new FIFA game to look for center backs with an overpoweredness level. Great speed, good physicality, good defending. Nathan Ake is a player that went down in price big time. Now you can get his one to watch card for around 20-25k and two months ago his normal card was 20-25k. Davinson Sanchez and an incredible player on the center back position. Also Tomori deserves a shout out. But what do you think about Joe Gomez? Joe Gomez, his price is going down, 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 down and he is now available for between 25 and 35k. So an incredible price for a player like Joe Gomez. You can't let him go. If you have a bigger budget, you could go for Chago Silva, one to watch or Imeric Laporte. But if you have to follow my recommendation, I would go for Davinson and Joe every single day instead of Thiago and Aymeric Laporte. So for that reason, yes, they are in the expensive section, but they are not better than the cheap players. The elite players, they are insane. One Bisaka is a squad building challenge. I hope you did it because he is worth every single player or coins you spend on him. Kyle Walker is there from the start of the game. He was in team of the week one or two with his center back card. Joe Gomez, upgradable center back in comparison with this normal card, I'm a real report as a rule breaker is something really exceptional and great. And normal Virgil van Dijk, of course, is fantastic, but that record breaker VVD is insane. We are moving down the right hand side with the right full bags, and there we have a lot of cheap opportunities for you. I must say, Hector Bellerin was an objective. If you didn't get him, you can't get him no more. If you have him, great job, because he's still one of the best fullbacks in the game. You can also go for Nelson Semedo, for Q Fall, the man of West Ham United, Cancelo, and Juan Bisaka. All great, good overpowered meta right backs to get. Nelson Semedo, one to watch after Wolves, didn't pick up a lot of inform cards, but if he will get one, he will be launched to the top of the best right backs in the game. So maybe he's worth the investment. Kyle Walker is already a Nelson Semedo without the upgrade because Walker is already 85 rated. But as you can see, if Semedo can get that one to watch upgrade, he is just as good and maybe even better than Kyle Walker. So it depends on what you want. For instant performance, Kyle Walker now, for the future, 
Nelson Semedo is a better investment. Jao Cancelo, road to the final. I think he will go up to 88, 89 or even higher with Manchester City probably going to the next round. So Cancelo, great player to invest in. And Trent Alexander-Arnold is also not a bad player. His normal card is too slow, but this upgraded card looks a lot better. From the right hand to the left hand. And they were starting off with the cheap players and that is Reglio and Alex Tejas. Both kind of new players to the Premier League. With that, I meant to say last season, they were playing in the Portuguese League and in the Spanish League. But now they are available for 1 to 5k in the Premier League. Then we have Benjamin Mendy. Kind of good looking card, I must say. His inform card is much, much better and also feels much, much quicker and more agile. So give him a try. Alex Tejas, just like Nelson Semedo, is for somebody that's going for the long run. This weekend, there will be a lot of Premier League teams playing when I record this video. So maybe both Tejas and Semedo already picked up that special card if you're watching this video a couple of weeks later. Andrew Robertson is once again instant success. Good player, but I like a lot of players better like, well, Tejas, but also Benjamin Mendy feel more agile and quicker than Robertson. Robertson is not bad, don't get me wrong, but it is not what you desire. Then we have my favorite, Patrick Van Arnold, and also squad building challenge Adama Traore. His freeze card, left back card, is also something astonishing. You just have to love that card. Why? Because it is amazing. But also Van Arnold, this rule breaker, is still for me one of the best players in the game. And because his passing is a little bit weaker, just like with Adama it was, you can pimp it up with a good passing card because the speed, etc. is already great. Left backs, you have so many choices. We are leaving the defensive line behind us and we are moving on with the CDM players. Then we have Fretch and Thomas Party from United and Arsenal. Both good players, nice overpowered. You can use them any day of the week. Do you have more coins to spend? Fabinho is a different type of player. Slower, but better in defense. Also in physicality and in passing. Scott McTominay, his informed card, for scoring two goals in three minutes time. I'm a little bit upset that he didn't get a record breaker card. And then we have Jordan Henderson and Thomas Party in form. They are just better than the cards they normally have. So great cards to get on the CDM spot. And Golo Kante, normal and in form are great. But my personal favorite on this position is Wilfried and Didi. I expect Leicester City to go through to maybe even the semi-finals. And then you can see a Wilfried and Didi that looks close to a team of the season card. 1991, 92 with the investment. Hell yeah. If you're more a fan of center midfielders and don't like to have a CDM in front of your defensive line, no worries. Sissoko, Alan, why not them? Cheap as hell, go get them right now. If you have a bigger budget, Alan, his inform slash want to watch card is available to invest in if you want to do that. I think the time is right now because he is kind of cheap. Then we have Paul Papa dropping to 80,000 coins, starting off with 200 plus K. That is a great cheap deal you can get. And if you want to spend all your coins on an elite center midfielder, you can get GD, Wijnaldum, Paul the Beast Pogba, rule breaker card, is quicker and better in defense than the normal Paul Pogba, Tisako and Paul Pogba, European cards, once again, something if you got it, congratulations, because I expect United and Tottenham Hotspur, especially Tottenham United, had a very hard draw in the knockout stages to get through the next rounds, and then Chichoko, but also Paul Pogba, could be just like the man I just showed you on that CDM position, do you know him? Indeed, they can go up to team of the season levels. For many seasons, the camp position was a problem situation for the Premier League fans. But this season is totally different. Kai Havertz is great and you could have done this squad building challenge. Bolasi, Janik Bolasi, great squad building challenge. If you got him, hold on to him. He's a great looking card. Plus, he has five star skill moves. Bruno Fernandes, his normal card is now 60,000 coins. Nice to get in combination with a player like maybe Paul Pogba, very skillful, very agile, very creative. Kai Havertz is great on the camp position, but what do you think about Hakim Ziyech? His one to watch card is a cam, and that makes the one to watch Ziyech way more better to use than his right wing in forms. Kevin De Bruyne, great player, just like Bruno Fernandes, but then even better. Then we have 
freeze card, Bernardo Silva. <laughs> Trust me, Batman is astonishing. He is just, in my opinion, the best cam you can use at the moment because his agility, etc., it is way better than Kevin De Bruyne and Bruno Fernandes. They also have great looking cards, 90, 92 rated, but my personal favorite is Bernardo Silva. That takes us to the attacking positions. Right wing, left wing, strikers, center forwards. Starting off down the right wing, Garrett Bale and his teammate Lucas Moura are available for a cheap price. You should get him any day of the week. We'll do a great job for you. Garrett Bale, one to watch once again. You can make the gamble to invest in him. Riyad Mahrez, 86 rated, doesn't look overpowered, but his shooting and finishing is something from another level. Unreal. Nicolas Pepe has a card for the group stage of the European League. Looks pretty impressive. And Rafinha of Leeds United is a very sweaty, overpowered player. He's around 100k depending on when you buy him. And then we only have two elite members. Well, actually, one with two cards. Mo Salah. Mo Salah normal card is 200k and his road to the final is over 100, 200, 500, around 1 million coins plus. So that is a big, big investment. So if you want to do it, do it right now because Liverpool going further into the tournament that is almost a done deal already. We also have some amazing players down the left wing. What is important with a winger? Speed, shooting, dribbling, passing. And if you combine that with good physicality, it is nice to take that alongside of it. Well, we have Saint Maxime, Wilfried Zaha, and Joga Jota. Joga Jota was an objective at the start of FIFA, and I believe 99% of my viewers already got that card at the start of the game. He got one upgrade so far. Marcus Rashford, I just added him in my team alongside Young Min Sun. I use them on different positions, but you might have to look my channel for a 500k squad builder, a hybrid with those players to see how I use them, but they are great players in game. Sterling and Podense are also great cards, very overpowered with a lot of speed. And if you want to go for the elite players, you have enough choices. We're starting off with the cheapest one. Alain Saint Maxime has one to watch card. Uh, in form card, I must say, 200,000 plus coins. Saint Yomane, same amount of money. You men son, look at him watching like you, something like that. That is crazy looking cool. Raheem Sterling, Saint Yomane in form. And then the man I put on the thumbnail with a reason. Marcus Rashford European card. Yes, United had a pretty rough draw in the knockout stages, but if they can proceed, Rashford is going up to 88, 89, 90, and then you have the best left winger in the game in your team. Don't forget to leave a like if the video is helping you. That would be amazing, helping my channel a lot. And Anthony Martial is starting off the striker position. Anthony Martial went down to 20,000 coins and even cheaper, and he is a man that is the magician in front of your playmakers that give him through balls. He is an amazing finisher, great agility, quick feet, great player. Trust me, invest in this man. Then we have Joga Jota, that is team of the group stage of the Champions League, looking quite nicely, I must say. But Timo Werner and Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang are around the same budget. And then I would say go for Pierre-Emerick. He's tall, he's quick, he's strong, he feels uncatchable. I love Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang any day of the week. And the strikers, you can see it, seven of them. And I had to let out a lot of great strikers as well. For example, Ali Watkins is not there. Then we have Wilfried Zaha, he's not there because these players are even better. Gabriel Jesus has a road to the final card. Saint Maxime, free card is something unreal. This man is so good, if I play against him, I put my Xbox off because you know you're going to lose that game. Marcus Rashford is looking great. Jamie Vardy, record breaker, has 90 speed and 90 shooting. Where do you see a combination like that? Well, maybe with rule breaker, Harry Kane, but for the rest, you won't find it. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang rode to the final European card. With Arsenal, it's also a big chance. They will proceed to the next round and the card will only go up higher and higher and higher. And to finish the episode off, we have free card, Sadio Mane, 2 million coins, but the man can be yours. A lot of money. I know guys, I can't afford him, maybe you can, so give him a try and tell me how they feel. If you love the video, please give a thumbs up, that would be awesome. Subscribe if you haven't done that before and put on the notification bell. I thank you all for watching, wishing you all a very nice day, and as you know for me, keep cool, keep real, and ciao for now.
Okay.